A woman's ovarian reserve, ovarian function, is a very important concept for us because the overall success of your treatment hinges on how well the ovaries function. There are several ways to determine this ovarian reserve, and the classic way is to do something called an FSH and estradiol level. FSH stands for follicle stimulating hormone and is produced from an area of your brain that directs the ovaries to produce an egg each month. If you have good ovarian reserve, then the FSH level will be within a normal range. If you have diminished ovarian reserve, then the FSH level will be high because the brain is trying to work very hard to stimulate the ovary. We get the FSH and estradiol levels on the third day of your menstrual cycle. and We consider day one of your menstrual cycle as the first day of full flow. Now the FSH and estradiol levels are done together because they interact with each other. If one is high or low, that has an impact on the other level. So it's always important to get both of those levels together. Another test that we do, something that's relatively new, is an anti-mullerian hormone or mullerian inhibiting substance. This is a marker of ovarian reserve, and this hormone is produced from all the smaller eggs within your ovaries that are, that are in the process of developing to be a bigger egg, which will eventually ovulate. So in this situation, we prefer the anti-mullerian hormone level to be high because that indicates there is a fair number of eggs still left in your ovaries. Another test we might offer is something called an antrophollicle assessment. This is an ultrasound that is done on the third day of your cycle, and it allows us to visualize the ovary itself. It will allow us to look at the ovarian volume. It will allow us to count all the little antrophollicles or eggs that have been recruited for that particular cycle. Of course, if the number is high, that's a very good sign and indicates that you have good ovarian responsiveness or reserve. One other thing that we'll look at is that if you've had prior fertility treatments, such as ovulation induction, or IVF treatments, we can look at those prior treatments which will help us determine if you did well and help us determine what might be the best protocol for you for any future treatments.